according to Skonberger, just in time. In short, JIT is a system to produce and deliver finished goods just in time to be sold, sub-assembly is just in time to be assembled into finished goods, and purchase materials just in time to be transformed into fabricated parts. The idea of just in time was originally developed by the Toyota Motor Company in Japan. The idea was formalized into a management system when Toyota sought to meet the precise demand of customers for different models and colors of cars with minimum delays. Just in time is being used in wide variety of industries such as automobiles, consumer electronics, office equipment etc. Just in time may be understood as the continuous improvement of material flow in either factory or a combination of factories. There are four techniques in just-in-time for improving material flow which include Factory layout revision Setup time reduction Pull system implementation And, better coordination with suppliers. Let's start by discussing about the factory layout revision technique of just-in-time. The layout of factories can be revised to introduce assembly lines and manufacturing cells. Sometimes called continuous flow manufacturing. The purpose of these layout modifications is to minimize material handling activities and their associated transactions and to provide faster quality feedback. Assembly lines are typically dedicated to a particular product type, although they may be able to produce multiple models. Manufacturing cells produce a variety of completed parts and the cells are developed using group technology. Often in order to have the capability to handle certain surges in demand, excess capacity is built into the system. Another technique of just-in-time is set-up time reduction. Factories can reduce set-up times in order to reduce lot sizes and smooth production. Reduced set-up times enables a factory to produce smaller lot sizes economically. Smaller lot sizes enable a factory to produce a broader variety of products, assemblies and parts each day. However, preventive maintenance and lowering defects rates are also needed to achieve these lower safety stock sizes. Technique 3 of just-in-time is pull system implementation. In a pull system, final assembly lines only produce actual orders and Kanban cards are used to signal sub-assembly and part deliveries and production. Material requirement planning may be used and smooth production facilitates the use of a pull system. And the last technique of just-in-time is the better coordination with suppliers. Factories can work with suppliers to reduce raw material inventories and solve quality problems. The first three techniques are applicable to the suppliers as well, for improving the material flow between a firm and its suppliers. The goal is to make the supplier an extension of the internal material flows, to avoid the problems associated with shifting of inventories from customers to suppliers.